Marinara sauce is an American favorite that's easy to make here. I like to serve mine with spaghetti, which I can buy in the village, or with cooked pumpkins, when pumpkins are available during their very short season, but they're delicious. The main ingredient for marinara sauce is the tomatoes. Tomatoes are locally available, and I need quite a few of them. Instead of meat, I use this, soya pieces, which are textured soy protein, available in almost any village in Malawi. A few onions, small onions. If garlic were available, I'd use it. It's not available right now, so I'll have to use garlic powder. And for other spices, salt, black pepper, basil, and oregano. The soy protein is dry, so I'll begin by soaking it in the pulp from the tomatoes, break up any large pieces into small pieces, Then to pulp the tomatoes is pretty simple. Cut a tomato in half, and then grate it. This leaves the skin behind, and the pulp goes in the bowl. Keep going until you have a bowl full of tomato pulp. The onions I'll chop not too fine. Throw away the carrot roots, and the remainder of the carrots I chop fairly fine like parsley. Now I have everything together. The tomatoes with the soya pieces, spices, onions, carrot tops, oil for cooking, salt, and utensils. Now I have all my ratty clothes for the smoky fire, and we're ready to go. So we have a fire with good coals. Put it on the pot, let it heat up, and then we add the oil. Oil's good and hot. Put in the onions. Stir and fry the onions until they're tender. When the onions are half done, put in the carrot tops. So we want this to be fragrant, but not burnt. So I think the onion's just starting to brown. We can put in the tomatoes with the soya pieces. And heat that on a hot fire until it boils. This is a good time to add the spices. Some black pepper. Oregano. Basil, and garlic, formerly powder, which is now kind of a lump because of wet season. So I'll try to break this up a little bit before adding it as one big chunk. Stir and let it cook down. Put in the salt any time before you're done. Stir that to dissolve. Now we just need to simmer for a while until it's done. It's simmering nicely. We can just let the coals do the rest of the job. Cover it up 
and when the coals burn down, the marinara sauce will be finished.